it's Alex. I'm lingering around in my hallway again. I must stop meeting you like this. <laughs> I'm trying to be funny. It doesn't work, does it? Um, so today I'm going to be removing the door cards from the Rover P4. So I'll be taking the blue cards out. I've never done that before. I've never removed P4 door cards, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But I think before I'll go out, I'll have a glance at the workshop manual because it's absolutely chucking it down. It's silly because I spent all morning in bed. You get to meet Arlo. Hello, Arlo. Who's this? It's the camera. No, you're just gonna headbutt it. Oh, oh, lovely. Oh, what a nice greeting, eh? You're a good boy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Do you wanna go out? It's raining. So I was going to go out this morning and do the car and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to have a lie in. So I stayed in bed until gone 12 o'clock. Uh, then I got up and went to Morrison's to get some milk because I couldn't have a cup of tea because I had no milk. Very annoying. <coughs> and he wanted some food, didn't you? <clears throat> so we've been out in the Land Rover. So I put my Land Rover t-shirt on. It's just obligatory. Go in the Land Rover, go have a Land Rover t-shirt. And I thought, I know, I'll get the camera set up and I'll go out and get these blooming door cards off. And as soon as I set the camera up, the heavens opened. Typical. It's been dry all morning. <laughs> so um, I've, had, I've had an egg sandwich. I've had something to eat. And he's had something to eat. He's been out and he keeps asking me to make it stop raining. <laughs> he's decided to eat my arm instead. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, I think I'm going to have a little look at the workshop manual and hope the weather brightens up a bit, which it seems to be, and then we'll get outside. I'm out here and it's raining. The cat's out too, but he's run away. <laughs> right. Apparently, in here, there's a little pin. careful not to damage the vinyl. Oh my god, it's absolutely chucking it down. Well, surely I can do it from within. <laughs> oh my god. It's horrible wet yuck outside really horrible so this pull handle comes off easy that's just two phillips screws but i'm really not sure about these pins i wish i had the camera on for that triumphant triumphant moment when i realized how to get these handles off come and have a look so i was pulling this back yeah because it's spring it's sprung loaded so surely there's a pin in there somewhere no right where's the pin i can't do it look look there's another piece if i get my screwdriver wherever that's gone there's another piece here and that's where the pinhole is. And the pinhole's tapered. I'm not sure which way it knocks out, but I'm gonna have to do that off camera for a minute because my, my camera stands out there in the rain. So here's the pin. I got it out. 
it's a little tapered fella and when you sort of look around the handle there's actually four holes see there's one there and then there's one here one here and one here so the pin is only obviously through one hole and you'll see look and you'll find one hole that's blocked and it's got the pin in it so you need to knock the pin out from the opposite end and i got a great little tool for that that my stepmom got me and my dad this is a hole punch and this will punch holes in wood and things like that and it's sort of uh, sprung loaded so if i show you an example here on this key all right example hear it click so when you push down can't see it very well on the key but it's it's made an indentation so it's like um oh what do you call it like an impact driver so you, as you push in i'm not going to do it on my carpet but as you push in it, the tension builds up and then it fires it out and, uh, and it threw that pin straight out of that handle. So by rights, this handle should come off now. Better make sure the window's done up first. That's it. Here it comes. Wiggle, wiggle. Woof. Wiggle, wiggle. Woof. Okay, so looks like there's a few bits you don't want to lose from here. So there's the little little collar there, so we keep that on. Don't lose that. There's a little spring. There's this collar. And that's it, folks. That's that one. Now we've got to try and do this one. Yes, I can see the pin. Get my screwdriver and you'll see it. See the pin in there? Here he is. That's the top of the pin there. So I need to knock that out from the other side whilst holding this chrome sleeve back so it can come out. Very awkward. I don't know if you can wedge something in there to keep it back. Just a couple of bits, a couple of bits of wood or something. Go and see what I've got in my toolbox. So I've come up with this idea and I've bent a split pin round so it is keeping that clear and also it's keeping the gap under the pin clear. Now, it's not raining now. Well, it is a bit. I reckon there's the hole. Let's see if we can see it come out. Wow, did you see that? Wow, it went flying. There it is. <laughs> oh, there's my spare flip pin. Well, that worked well. So I think this tool is now going to be dedicated to being a P4 handle removal tool. And there we go. Now, I've done this because I'm doing one at a time. I'm going to do this one before I take the other side off. If you're going to take all your door cards off, what I would recommend is I would close the window and have the door open and take a picture of it. Because when you come to put the handles back on, you won't know which way round they're meant to be. Um, and then you'll start having to look through books, etc., to try and find out which way round they were. Or you could just put them on 
and then have people at shows go, oh, your window winders are upside down. <laughs> yeah, I, I would snap a picture. So that one over there, if I was to take that door card off as well and have no rear door cards on, I would take a picture and just see where these handles point so you know to put them back where you found them. It looks pretty easy. It looks like they just point that way towards the front of the car. Easy to remember, but on some cars it's not easy to remember. These are easy to undo. So it looks like we've lost four of the trim clips. So I'll get those out. Some weird, I say weird, it's like insulation stuff there. Perhaps to stop the panel resonating. Not sure. But I'm not touching that. All the window winder mechanism, everything works. It all looks very greasy, so that's good. But I'll probably spray some more grease on the components whilst it's apart. And another thing I note is um, these holes here, I would think in the past they would have had something over them, like a piece of cloth or plastic, probably not plastic in those days, um, as a bit of uh, insulation to stop any damp getting in into the cabin area. So I've got some stuff that's like big thick stick on cling film. Uh, I'm going to use that to cover these holes. I think that's the right thing to do. Thanks for watching. Bye.